What a workout. I've got to teach those freshmen how to clean up properly. So, I pretended to take a picture with my cell phone. She freaked out and started crying. <laughs> like it was the end of the world. You should have seen the look on her face. It was priceless. Oh my god! I have never laughed so hard in all my life! <laughs> <laughs> They're making fun of someone? Don't they have anything better to do? Huh? Where's that voice coming from? What voice? I don't hear anything. What's wrong, Maki? Maki! Uh, uh-huh. Are you okay? Uh, sorry. What were we talking about? About time they left. I can't stand girls like that. Where have you been?
that girl in 2E? Yeah, they haven't got a clue. Isn't that bizarre? Man, can you believe these people? So, did you hear the details? Well, a girl from 2E went missing last night. This morning, they found her lying on the ground in front of the school gate. Nobody knows what happened, and supposedly, she's still unconscious. Morning. Yo, Yucatan. This is a tough case, even for Junpei Iori, ace detective. Ace detective? Are you stupid or something? More like Dupe, ace defective. Hey, I resent that. Anyway, where have you been? I was talking to the teacher. That girl they found? I saw her yesterday on my way back from practice. She seemed okay then. Whoa. Now that's really strange.
Hey! Ah, yes. An intimate encounter with one of your world's rarities. This must be a fountain. It makes sport of water, well known to all to be the foundation of life. How wicked! It's rumored that its enchanting nature grants wishes to those who sacrifice a few coins. Forgive me, but my enthusiasm for the fountain couldn't be contained. I brought a number of coins with me. 2,000 of your 500 yen coins, to be exact. I shall make an opening bid to the fountain spirit of 1 million yen. I was so caught up in the excitement of tossing in coins that I hadn't given my wish any thought. This won't do. I shall give it more careful consideration before I return here in the near future. Hmm, what is this facility here? There are some stern-faced gentlemen inside. And these photographs displayed so prominently most wanted reward. Am I correct in thinking of these as your version of my subjugation requests? I see. So they must be captured alive. You've sated my curiosity.
this edifice over here. It can't be. Is this a club? Dancers, dictated by the sway of one's inner passions. A subterranean garden of uninhibited spectacle. No, it's not closed for business now, is it? Such a pity. I had hoped to join in on the wild ritual. Ooh, that was quite satisfying. But I'm overwhelmed. Everything looks so new and inviting. Everywhere I look, something catches the eye. If you wouldn't mind, perhaps you could recommend our next activity? Karaoke, is that? place where one can challenge even professional singers at the touch of a button. It seems the time has come to show you my hidden talents. Ah, oh, excuse me, would you mind waiting for a moment? I wasn't aware that there was a fountain on this side as well. Another fountain on the opposite side. I see. So this place is host to a trinity of fountain spirits. I apologize for the wait. Let us continue. Thank you for the invaluable experiences you've shared with me today. I consider this mission fully accomplished. This may sound forward, but I'd like to accompany you again sometime.
Okay. Hey, Yucatan, have you seen the posts on the student message board? You know how last week that girl was found by the front gate? Well, there's this rumor that it was an angry spirit from this one ghost story. Hey, come on. Nobody believes that stuff. So, what is this ghost story about? What? It's probably made up, so why bother? I'm interested. Go ahead and tell us. Uh... Good evening. Welcome to Junpei's Believe It or Don't. There are many strange things in this world. According to one story, 
If you get caught at school late at night, you'll be devoured by a maniacal ghost that roams the halls! The other day, this friend of mine, let's call him Shu, he said to me, Junpei, I saw something strange. He sounded serious, so I asked him what he'd seen. He said it was about the girl in 2E. He claims he saw her go into the school on the night of the incident. I couldn't believe it. She's not the kind of girl to be out at night. But Shu was as white as a sheet. He insisted it was true. Then, it hit me. That ghost must have tried to make her its dinner. And that's why they found her lying on the ground by the gate. I felt a chill run down my spine, and I broke into a cold sweat. Yes, there are strange things in this world. Believe it or don't. What do you think, Akihiko? Huh? Not one word about my frankly amazing performance just now? I think it's worth investigating. Wow, I didn't know you were afraid of ghosts, Yukatan. That's... Hey, watch it! Fine, then let's investigate. We'll each ask around for the rest of the week. I'll prove to you that this ghost story is just an urban legend. I appreciate that. The story is a bit unnerving. Huh? Then I'll let you guys handle it. Just make sure you sleep with one eye open. What? I came to see you again as I promised. How are you? I'm glad you remembered me. Now, in another week, the moon will be full again. And the next ordeal will be upon you. So be careful. I'll come again.
up, dude? 